as you can see the cars out on the circuit now jonesy unusual this place too yes it's uh, it's anti-clockwise and it really does play havoc on your neck a lot of these guys are oh, one of the benettons looks like they're in trouble fisicala what a shame god it's his best qualifying for a long long time um most of the guys believe it or not have built up muscles on one side of their neck because most of the circuits are clockwise invariably you come to this circuit which is anti-clockwise and just about everybody suffers from a sore neck. The other interesting point is the start is uphill. So they've really got to keep the car from rolling backwards until such times as the green light comes on. And that's why we do see cars stalling here a bit more often than normal. While we're waiting for the cars to come round, some points of interest. Fabio Briatore has been appointed to the managing director position now of Bennett in Formula One. The team is, uh, has a new boss. The owners are Renault. Renault announced last Thursday that have bought the team and plan a full return to Formula One in 2002. That's good news. He did a good job before. It's fantastic. Well, I mean, he, he was responsible for giving Michael Schumacher his first world championship. And I was talking to Frank Williams at Albert Park and... Frank said, don't underestimate the Renault engines, he said, because they get, they've got new heads, new exhaust systems. He said, they're really now stepping up their development uh, for when they do come back in properly. So we can expect the engines in the uh, Benettons to get more and more powerful as the year progresses. What about this? German media giant, EMTV, have finalised the deal to buy 50% stake in Bernie Eccleston's company, Formula One Administration. The deal values FIA at just over $6 billion and allows Eccleston ongoing control of the company. And it makes sure he gets three meals a day and a roof over his head. <laughs> Another interesting note from our statistician, the last six winners of the Brazilian Grand Prix have gone on to win the World Championship. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? And also our friends in the uh, Melbourne Grand Prix office tell us that Eddie Irvine won a cool $6,000 for backing the Ferrari Quinella of Michael Schumacher and Rubens Barrichello at the Australian Grand Prix. Not bad money. I wonder what he would have done if he was coming second and Barrichello was coming third. <laughs> Eddie, I mean, he's a, he's a dead set character, isn't he? I think that might have been Wurtz that was stalled on the grid, even though we had uh, Fisacalla on the screen. But we'll, we'll check that out. Well, as you can see, the last of the cars making their way around, and we're just about ready as we go across now. See the scuff marks, Daz? See those yeah. brown marks there? Uh, that is actually where the cars have been bottoming. That's how rough it is. Those brown marks are actually scuff marks. So that's where they've been uh, pulling the wings off the cars, which is uh, pretty dangerous. <coughs> All right, let's go, let's go across. There's the weather for you now. Very quickly, humid. Chance of rain. Current temperature around 30 degrees. Here's Martin Brundle, and of course the voice of Formula One, Murray Walker. Woods because he's having, been having problems all today and all through the practice period. It is Alexander Woods into the pit lane. Whether or not he'll be able to start from the pit lane. Two lights, three, and the Brazilian Grand Prix is... Go! Nice one, Hakkinen. Schumacher gets ahead of Kulbar. Schumacher attacking at the first corner. And Schumacher goes to Vicar Hakkinen. And Barrichello is still behind David Kulbar. into the fifth position as they come down the straight. This is where Schumacher will attack as they come down into late descent. Hakkinen is having nothing of it. It's still McLaren Ferrari. McLaren Ferrari, they've all got round the first part of the lap unscathed and Eddie Irvine in the Jaguar holds on to fifth position. Yes, David Coulthard bogged down on the start line, got away poorly. That gave Michael Schumacher an easy run. Burt does start the race. I think he's uh, not understood the regulations there, came into the pit lane. But uh, Michael Schumacher looking particularly aggressive and menacing in the early stages. Eddie Irvine got a good start, had an enormous slide in uh, turn three, collected it all together, and uh, they're in a strong fifth position. Jensen Button has dropped down a little bit to 12th place. Well, that's not surprising. He's dropped down from 9th to 12th. The first start with the pack, and there he is, ahead of the arrows of Jos Verstappen. As coming through to complete the first lap out of 72, it's the two rivals again, as ever, and, Mika, and Schumacher's going for it. He'll get He's it. He's going to get Schumacher through on the inside. It. He'll get through, and Schumacher leads. Michael Schumacher attacks and gets through. Now the Ferrari is handling beautifully here. 